What's up fam? I am out here recording this video out in nature because I want to give you one of the three most important ingredients for how you can change your life. One of the three C's for creating the life of your dreams. I recorded, this is the third one. There's already a video about the first one, which is consciousness, the second one, which is creativity, and this third one, which is community. Community, community, community. Because no one gets to the life of their dreams on their own. Even right now, like I'm sitting here with a book and my journal to take notes and continue to expand my consciousness and my awareness. And even in this moment, what I'm doing is learning from someone else, right? I am learning from someone else. And that is what I consistently do. And one, I had this, I want to tell this story because when I first had my like spiritual awakening, uh, I had no one in my life that I would consider a mentor. I had no one in my life that I felt like was pulling me forward and helping me, you know, learn about uh, how to create the life of my dreams. I just didn't have it. And I watched this, this YouTube video. <laughs> I watched this YouTube video where the, the person was saying, you are the sum of the five people that you spend the most time with. And I went, Really? And I started to think about that and I made a list of the five people that I spend, spent the most time with and I went, wow, these people have a lot of fears around money. These people um, spend a lot of time uh, complaining. These people all feel very unhappy and dissatisfied where, where, with where they are. That's having an impact on me. Imagine the difference of being around those people and telling them, yo, I have this really big dream for this, this poetry show that I, that I want to do or this YouTube show called The Art of Choosing Love, which I did, by the way. If you haven't seen it, click on those videos because it's great. Um, and having people who are unhappy, who don't pursue their own dreams, who don't think of the world as, as full of possibility but as full of limitation, when I speak my dreams to them, I'm going to receive feedback through their lens of limitation. Even if they want to support me, there's still the part of them that goes, yeah, but it's going to be hard or whatever because that's their belief. Now imagine if I'm surrounded by five people who have uh, fallen in love with life and who believe in the possibilities of what's available to each and every person and human on this planet and people who have taken risks as an entrepreneur. When I tell them about my dream to, to rec make a YouTube show, they're going to say, go for it. That's amazing. Let me, let me tell you about what I did when I did my thing and they could save me a bunch of time, a bunch of money, give me valuable insight and most importantly, just motivate, support me and encourage me. The people you surround yourself with, they say things that will seep into your unconscious. The people, if you surround yourself with people who complain about not having enough money or how expensive things are or how awful the political climate is or whatever it might be, that seeps in. That, that seeps in. It becomes part of how you view things. It's just how it works. Okay, you might think you're immune to it, you're not. If you surround yourself with those people, it will become a part of how you see the world. So, what is the life that you envision for yourself? If you don't yet have it, it means that you're going to need to start doing things that you've never done before, which means you're going to need to step outside your comfort zone, which means that there are going to be uncomfortable fears that arise from that. The decision to actually take your life and turn it into the life you've always envisioned, there is fear there. There is discomfort. That's why you haven't done it yet, which means that it is so important for you to find support to do that so that you can overcome those fears because you know people have your back. You know that people are looking to you and saying, I believe in you. I believe that you can do that. And if you have people that believe in your vision just like you do, it becomes exponentially more likely to happen. It's one thing for you to believe you can do something when no one else believes it. You have to create all the energetic strength to overcome everyone else's doubt. But when you have two, three, four, five, five hundred people who say you can do it, it's exponentially more possible because on an energetic level, all of those people are on that timeline with you. They've basically already signed up to help you manifest it. 
So now you're not manifesting that life for yourself by yourself. You're manifesting that life with 500 other people who believe in you. This changed my life. When I started to develop a community for myself of friends and family where I felt safe enough to express what I was thinking and to receive, felt safe enough to actually take feedback from them in the ways that I could improve, it completely changed my life. When I hired a life coach for the very first time and I said, I want a support system from someone who's intentionally been hired to look at me and go, you got this. And let me help you with what I see, with my wisdom and my experience. It's why I formed my own online community. (laughs) I started my own online community so that people could come together and have that support because I didn't know what else to do. It started during COVID. I said, let's all get together and find one place where we can all come together and support each other and believe in each other and challenge each other. Right? Let's get into the dojo together and be each other's training partners for becoming and developing the skill sets that allow us to become who we want to be. So, the three C's, consciousness, creativity, community. If you haven't seen my videos on the other two, make sure you go watch them. And more importantly, this is not change. This right now, watching this video, is a step that gives you awareness to now ask the question, do I have the community around me that I feel like is supporting me and elevating me to create the life of my dreams? If the answer is no, you get to create that for yourself. You get to find that for yourself. If you want to check out my community, it's thecreatecommunity.com. There's a link in the, the description here. And if, if you, the, my community doesn't call for you, I encourage you to go take action on this because that's the only way you're going to see your life change. It's the only way you're actually going to create the life of your dreams. Thank you for watching this. If you got value, make sure that you subscribe to the channel because I am putting out these videos regularly. And I want to remind you that always, in always, you are seen, you are heard, and you are loved.